This is video update number two, experimenting with the 3D printed linear actuator. So I discovered that the actuator uh, doesn't like to do small movements when you're powering it just from the USB port on your computer. It just freezes up and refuses to move. And that's a problem with the applications that I have in mind. I want to do drawing robots. And if I want to draw tiny letters, it'll slur the words. So that's, that's not acceptable. So my experimental setup here is this linear actuator attached to a frame with this Arduino Nano box clamped to the table. And here I'm using a dial indicator to measure the output of the actuator. And right now I'm showing a minimum distance that I can possibly move, and this is after hacking. This is, this is, this is as good as it's going to get is 60 thousandths of an inch, which is 1.5 millimeters, with a repeatability of the end stop positions within plus or minus 0 0.006, sixth thou, and that's 0.15 millimeters. And I'm very happy with that performance, considering what it is. It's just a cheap MG90 in plastic parts put together. And my application uh, is, the intended application is a drawing robot. So I'll be able to draw small letters and it'll work the way I want it to. So a little more detail on the setup here. I've got, I do have it hooked up to my computer. It's an Arduino Nano and a Nano breakout board. Over here I've got two 18650 batteries producing about 7 volts. And when I take that and plug it into the breakout board input port, normally it just dumps that straight into the Nano and uses the Nano's onboard linear voltage regulator to convert anything between anything you input between 7 and 20 volts down to a clean 5 volt output with a 2 amp maximum to all these little digital output pins. And that's what runs the servos. In, the problem is, in my application, I'm running three servos, and I need every drop of performance I can get out of them. Now, they can handle four to six volts, uh, so I'm leaving one volt on the table right there if I'm just using the USB port. But um, I'm sure that if I were to double-check the specs, they'd use more current than I'm, I'm able to produce with that, too. So what I needed was a hack to utilize the strength of the batteries directly without connecting that to my computer. Because if that seven volts goes to my USB port on my computer, it's dead. And that's unacceptable. So through some experimentation with a multimeter, the hack I figured was breaking off the 5-volt pin and the 3-volt pin off the Nano, then plugging it into the uh, breakout board and soldering another pin from the bottom location there, that's VN, and then running a line to from it to the 5-volt rail on the breakout board. When I was done, I uh, probed the outputs of the Arduino Nano, well, the USB port, to make sure that 7 volts was isolated to the board and the servos and would not come back up and fry my computer. But for extra assurance, I later got this uh, USB hub with over-voltage protection, over-current protection. So that made me feel real good about what I was doing. But uh, that's, that's everything. That's where I'm at right now. And uh, thank you for watching.